Hi there, in this video I'm going to discuss completing a square. So with completing a square we're expressing a quadratic uh, in the form ax squared plus bx plus c and a, b and c are real numbers or constants and we're taking this quadratic and we're writing it as a open a bracket x plus h squared plus k okay so let me show you how to complete the square so I have some examples so here's example one find the values of a h and k for which and in part a 2x squared plus 4x plus 1 so let's complete the square of that quadratic so back to the paper and pen so here's the example, 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. So let me break down the methods in steps. So in step number 1, all we need to do is we need to write the x squared term and the x term in a bracket. Okay, so let me write down the step in red. So write the x squared and x terms in a bracket okay so by that what we need to do is we need to write the 2x squared term and the 4x term so here's my x squared term and my x term and we need to encase them in a bracket uh, leaving the plus one outside okay so that is what step one is about once you've done that, go to step number two. Now, in step number two, you need to take out the number in front of x squared as a common factor. Or in other words, you need to take out the coefficient of x squared as a common factor. So let me use this red pen again to note the step. So take out the coefficient of x squared as a common factor okay so this is the shorthand for coefficient so in this case the coefficient of x squared is plus 2 so if I take out plus 2 as a common factor uh, from this bracket here I'm left with x squared plus 2x in a bracket plus 1 outside. So remember you're taking out the coefficient of x squared as a common factor so the coefficient being plus 2. So once you're happy with that go to step number 3 okay pay attention to step number 3 so I have the 2 I copy down the x squared plus 2x so copy down the x squared plus 2x from here and we always add so we always add in this step. So let me use a green pen to circle that plus sign. So this green pen, uh, this green circle rather, round the plus sign means we always add here. And we're adding half the number in front of x or half the coefficient of x and we're squaring that term, okay? So let me explain. So the coefficient of x is plus 2, okay? Half of plus 2 is plus 1, and we square that term to give us plus 1 squared, okay? So let me use this red pen again. So we're adding always half of the coefficient of x, and we square that term. So that's how we get to this plus 1 squared here, okay? Plus the 1 outside. Now, we can't simply add something. We need to subtract something as well, okay? So outside, with we need to subtract. So green pen again. So 100% add inside, 100% subtract outside. And we're subtracting whatever we've added, okay? So we're adding... So with a black pen, 2 times plus 1 squared. So outside over here, we need to subtract the same amount. So we need to subtract the 2 times plus 1 squared.
Okay, so that takes care of step number three. And in the last step, this is step number four. In the last step, I copy down this two. So copy down this two, open up a bracket, bring down one of these x terms. So write down one of these x terms, bring down one of the plus ones. So bring down one of the plus ones close that bracket and square it okay so let me repeat so i take i write down one of these x's i write down one of the plus ones close the bracket and square that bracket okay so it's always the case that with step number four x plus one squared is the same as what you have here so x plus one squared is x squared plus two x plus one okay so all we need to do now is simplify this n term over here. So let's calculate what we have as this n term. So we have the plus 1. Okay. 2 times plus 1 squared is 2. So don't forget that minus. So it's a minus 2. So overall we're going to have 2 in 2. x plus 1 close bracket squared. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Okay, so that should be the solution for when you complete the square. Okay, so if you make the comparison with a into x plus h squared plus k, so we can note that by comparison, so by comparing these two, a in this case is 2, so we notice that a is 2, h is plus 1. And as for k, k is minus 1. So these are the steps for completing a square. We're going to see uh, the same steps in action with the next example. So back to the screenshot. So for part b, we need to complete the square of minus x squared plus 6x plus 2. Let's go back to the paper and pen. So minus x squared plus 6x plus 2. So let's revisit the steps. Here is step number 1. So let's go back to the previous example uh, just to remind ourselves of the steps. Step number 1 is to write the x squared and x terms in a bracket. Okay. So here we go. So in step number 1, I need to write the minus x squared term in this case and the 6x term in a bracket. So now step one is complete. This brings us nicely to step number two. So let's refer to the previous example. In step number two, take out the coefficient of x squared as a common factor, okay? So if we go to the, uh, the example in part b, the coefficient of x squared is minus one. So that is our coefficient of x squared in part b. So if I take that out as a common factor, I'm left with x squared minus 6x. So be careful when you factorize by taking out that common factor. So that is step number two complete. So that takes us to step number three. So let's go to, let's remind ourselves of step number three. So remember, we need to add inside the bracket half the coefficient of x and we square. But outside, we need to subtract what we've added. So outside, we're subtracting always whatever we have here multiplied by that term over here. Okay. So let's apply that in part B. So we have minus 1. We have x squared minus 6x, and we always add. So again, a green pen, just to, um, just to make sure that you understand that we always add here. And we're adding half the coefficient of x. So the coefficient of x is minus 6. Half of minus 6 is minus 3. And don't forget to square. So we're adding minus 3 squared plus the 2 at the end. And we're adding here, we always subtract here. 
So 100% subtract outside. And we're subtracting what we've added. So we're adding minus 1 times minus 3 squared. So outside, we need to subtract minus 1 times minus 3 squared. So that's exactly what we did in the previous example, okay, in part A. So that takes care of step number three. Let's go to the last step. Last step, step number four. So in the last step, remember the idea, we bring down one X and we bring down one of the terms that we have over here and we close that bracket and we square so let's see this in action with part B. So moving on to part B, we have minus one, so copy that down. We bring down one X, as we discussed, we bring down one of these minus threes. We close the bracket and we square it. So you can multiply mentally, X minus three squared is the same as X squared minus six X plus nine. OK, and all we need to do is tidy up this term over here to give us the value of K. So we have plus two, so plus two. Minus three squared is plus nine. Nine times minus one is minus nine. So you've got minus nine from here. But minus nine times minus is plus nine. So your final answer should be minus one in two x minus 3 squared, 2 plus 9 is 11. So this should be the solution for when you complete the square of the quadratic in part b. So if you make the comparison with a in 2, x plus h squared plus k, we notice that by comparison, a is minus 1, h is minus 3, and as for k, k is 11. So that completes uh, part B. I have another example, so a part C. Let's complete the square of minus 9x squared plus 18x plus 1. So minus 9x squared plus 18x plus 1. So back to the paper in pen. So minus 9x squared plus 18x plus 1. So here is step number 1. Step number one, remember, refer to the example in part A. So write the x squared and x terms in a bracket. So let's implement that step. So I need to write the minus 9x squared and the plus 18x term in a bracket. So that takes us to step number two. So let's refer to uh, the previous example in part A. Step number two, take out the coefficient of x squared as a common factor. Okay, so whatever term you have as the coefficient of x squared, take that out as a common factor from the bracket. So let's see this with part C. So the coefficient of x squared is minus nine. So if I take that as a common factor, I'm left with x squared minus two x plus one. So be careful when you extract um, the coefficient of x squared as a common factor, okay? So this takes us to step number three, the next step. So let's refer to the previous example. Step number three is you need to add, so you always add half the coefficient of x and you square over here. And at the same time, you subtract whatever you've added. So you need to subtract whatever term you have here uh, multiplied by that squared term, okay? So let's see this in action with part C. So we have minus nine. So let's copy that down. We have x squared minus two x. And we always add, so let's use that green pen. So green pen means always add here. And we're adding so the coefficient of x is minus 2, half of minus 2 is minus 1, don't forget to square, so it's a minus 1 squared, plus 1 at the end, 
and we add here, we always subtract here. So let's use that green pen again. So always subtract here. And we're subtracting what we've added and we're added minus nine times minus one squared. So over here, let's copy down the minus nine times minus one squared. So this takes us to step number four. So in the last step, so remember the idea of the last step, so let's refer to part A. So we bring down one of these x terms and we bring down one of the terms over here, okay? And all we that we need to do is simplify this n term, okay? So let's implement that step in step number four in the current example. So over here we have minus nine, Okay, so minus 9, bring down one of these x's, bring down one of the minus 1's, close that bracket, square it. So you can double check this step as x minus 1 squared, when you multiply, it's x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, and all we need to do now is simplify this n term to work out k. So we have plus 1. Minus 1 squared is plus 1, times minus 9 is minus 9, but minus 9 times minus is plus 9, okay? So overall we're going to have minus 9 into x minus 1 squared, 1 plus 9 being 10, okay? So that should be the solution for when you complete the square of this quadratic in part C. And if we make a quick comparison with a into x plus h squared plus k, so we can note that the a value by comparison is minus 9, the h value by comparison is minus 1, the k value finally is plus 10. So these are the values of a, h and k for when we complete the square. Okay. So that completes this example and that also sadly ends the video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, do pr plenty of practice related questions. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, a like is very much appreciated and I hope to see you again. Thank you.